Arashai come to you again with this truth, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Billstone who rule well, and salutations to the Akim, as across the four corners of the earth, pushing his words, sincerely and truth with all long suffering and doctrine, risking their lives and freedom to do so. Coming to you with a video on the topic that uh, this is still the year of the push and still death, destruction, and diligence. All right, the year of Triple D. As Apostles of Heart coined it. So I'm going to open up with this here in Jude, the first chapter, take it from the top. It says, Jude, the servant of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the brother of James, to them that are sanctified by Yahweh the Father and preserved in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and called mercy unto you. So it's unto them who are called that he said, mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. See, that's where it's first. You know, you got to pay attention to these key points because Yahweh Shah said uh, he is not sent for the world, but only for them, his lost sheep, roughly paraphrasing that scripture that's in the book of Matthew. All right. So he only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. And then it says, verse three, beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you. That ye should earnestly contend for the faith. And that was the part right there that caught my attention. You know, contending for the faith. You got to earnestly, as it says, contend for the faith. So that's with diligence, you know, with suffering, long suffering, patience, you know, rightly dividing the word of truth, so on and so forth. Doing it with a willing mind, a ready heart. It says contend for the faith. Which was once delivered unto the saints. Verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old, ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach. Alright? And these, you know. Certain men who crept in unawares of these men that claim to be Israelites, but they not doing what Yahweh Shah was doing. Some of them don't go out, you know, and I'm not going to make this whole video on that topic, but I got to elaborate and speak on the fact that you got guys of the circumcision speaking things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake, hence lasciviousness. All right. And they ungodly men because of the simple fact they denying the only Lord, Yahweh Shah and our father. Yahweh, alright? You got guys who only believe in the Torah. You got guys who not rightly dividing the word of truth about the mark of the beast, calling it an embargo rather than the uh, RFID chip, and so on and so forth. You got guys not teaching the name or heavily pushing it. You got the, you got guys that's, because there's so many alphabet camps and then there's so many new camps that just came on the scene. I'm not going to speak on all of them, but if the spirit be with you, you know, you Brothers that's been in this thing for a minute, y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, you got guys who uh, may believe the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, but they're not heavily pushing it. All right, so that's like having, like the scriptures say, that light set on a candle, but you're hiding it under a bush or under a bed. You know, you ain't letting them who come in see that light. You're hiding it. So if you believe it, you need to be earnestly contending for the faith. All right. It says, verse five, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. So at one point in time, we knew our Lord and Savior. We knew that we were Israel. This is the only captivity where we didn't know who we were. And we had to be reawoken, hence reeducated, bring out what's already what was instilled within us. All right. Here in Babylon, by way of Yahweh Shmiel Shah, which is love. All right, going back to verse two, to those who are called in verse one, it says, mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied because the Lord loved us enough to give us a second chance at life. That way we won't be destroyed to those who can receive it, who were ordained from the beginning, which we don't know who the elect are. But if you contend for the faith. All right, you got a better shot than someone who's just eating Doritos and, and playing video games and shit all damn day. Which neither of those are a sin. But the fact of the matter is, you know, 
they they what he's the scriptures say where your heart is there shall your treasure be also so if your heart is you know playing ball all day or doing this doing that chasing after females and it's not into doing the will of the heavenly father then you know you 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 didn't made your mind all right that's where your treasure will be so it says, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. All right. And those people who believed not in the wilderness of Zen were primarily old heads, which I have, uh, 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 I could say, uh, indignation against a lot of these old heads who feel like they don't have to listen to us because we're younger than them. And really, they led us astray, man. Being raised with Cesar Bergia on the wall and shit like that. You know, being raised with all kind of false idols and calling upon different deities. I mean, your parents, you still got to honor. All right. At the end of the day. And the apostles and elders are worthy of double honors because they rightly divide the word of truth. But you got these ungodly men who's running backwards at the end of this race. They running backwards. You know, helping Esau out. You know, there's so many things that's coming to mind, but I'm going to try to stay on topic. I had a couple of scriptures lined up and it was actually getting to a degree on these ungodly men. All right. So this was also reiterated in Jude 1 and 10, but I'm going to grab the one in Peter. Second Peter 2 and 12. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not. And why don't they understand them? Because the Lord didn't impart this unto them. All right. They might have been called, but they may not have been chosen. Shit, I might not be chosen, but I'm doing what I can to the best of my ability to be saved. Not only for me, but for all those who hear this word, this calling. Given by way of your by Shmi al Shah, and also attempting to try to save me and my house. Get the blood off my hands. Things of that nature. All right. It says, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. And that corruption is them denying their only power. Yeah, how about Shimei Al Shah? You got this guy Nate. When and I can't let this video go. He was in the woods talking about. Do I got to listen to them bum mics talking about the men of Great Millstone? Of course they call us bums, which that ain't no big deal. But the fact that he said, uh, "Can we?" He said the Lord's name is Yo Plate Yogurt. We can call him whatever you want. You know that right there really upset me, and not me really, but how much more the Lord? You know. Who knows all your thoughts. And what you wickedly imagine against them. But you're talking about our father. So of course we upset. You know we. Yasharala the prince of the power. We his sons his children. So of course we upset too man. And that's why I had to speak on it. And that brute. Which when you grab into my sword app. Um. This is the Jude 1 and 10, the same scripture. It says, but these speak evil of things which they know not, but what they know naturally, all right, as brute beasts. Let's click on that brute word. It says, destitute of reason, contrary to reason, absurd. Absurd how? Click on this one. It says, absurd of speech, a word uttered by a living voice embodies a conception or idea, all right? Jumping down to five, it says Old Testament prophecy given by the prophets. So, uh, verse four it says of the moral precepts given by Yahweh, by Shemuel, Al Shah, so on and so forth. So they speaking absurd things of the scriptures, of things which they know not. You know they're the natural man. Just saying what this guy. I'm gonna grab that scripture I just quoted. It says 1 Corinthians 2 and 14, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. All right. So these guys out here, that's not rightly dividing the word of truth. All right. You spiritually discern. And really, you just natural men. You know, you got a little knowledge, but knowledge puffeth up. You know, we to the best of our ability trying to be of a contrite mind. Because the Lord is nigh to us if you like that, man. You want the Lord to be unto you and you sincere with what you're saying. You're going to be humble. Because the meek is going to inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. Not those that's puffed up, you know, feel like they know it all, can't be told nothing. You know, feel like they got a couple years under their belt. So now they want to call themselves an apostle. 
things of that nature. You know, you're seeking preeminence, which is that glory of whether it be Yahweh Bashim Yahushah or of the men that's above you, your elders. You know, things like that. Moving on, though. I'm going to grab uh, 1 Peter 4 and 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of Yahweh resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. All right. And we glorify Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai as we have faith that that is the name. You know, we done the research. We went into the Paleo Hebrew. We correlated with the scriptures, so on and so forth. And we got faith in our power that he's going to redeem us and save us from the hell to come. And if you're not prophesying and speaking about these things, you're a natural man. You're doing this just to be seen of men. You're trying to prolong your life, your days here. But in reality, we're trying to get the fuck up out of here at the end of the day. You know, Philippians 2 and 12, we worry about ourselves. We're not worried about trying to uh, uh, prosper and all come together because all of Israel can't come together. And I always speak on this topic, but I'll say it again. We wasn't together in the days of old. Once we had to split, we are still separated up until now that the Lord is slowly but surely bringing us back. But even not all the council is going to be on one accord because you got guys who are natural men, brute beasts, who speak evil things which they know not. You got this guy, Nate, calling a full moon the new moon. Makes no sense at all. So things like that we don't agree on is exactly why there was differences in the past. And now the scriptures speak about the Sadducees who didn't believe in the reincarnation. But we we believe in reincarnation. And just like today, you got guys who don't believe in reincarnation, but we do. So we're not meant to be on one accord and come together. Hence Romans 9 and 6. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Nonetheless, we out there fishing for the elect. And that's the simpleness of it, of it all. And I ain't know why I intend to make this video super long, but I'm just flowing through the spirit. So this is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And so you are commanded to be on the highways and the byways. And in the book of, uh, I believe it's 2 Peter, ah, not 2 Peter, 2 Timothy 4 and 2, if I'm not mistaken. You know, in season and out of season. We are commanded, demanded, to compel Israel to come into the house of the Lord. And make your life a living sacrifice, according to Romans 12 and 1. So, we ought to be out there doing the will of the Heavenly Father. All right. That's why he said, therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them one for me. So as it was, uh, how can I say, as the scripture say, it, roughly paraphrasing, um, let me type it in freely, but freely give. I might be butchering it. Salakia. Bear with me. Here we go. I'm going to open this up. Yep, this is what I want. Matthew 10 and 5. And this is what I quoted earlier. But this is spirit. It had me grab it. It says, These twelve Yahweh Shah sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans into you not. So we not commanded to go into the way of the Gentiles. And what come to mind is that good old scripture, Jeremiah 10 and 2. You know, I ain't brought it out in a minute. Got to blow the dust off of it. But uh, regardless of which, we not meant to go into the way of the Gentiles. And the ways of the Gentiles is everything contrary to the scripture, worshiping and serving of the idols, doing things which we ought not earn from the faith. All right. Keep in mind, I just brought out that. Uh, Jude, the first chapter, which goes into that topic. It says, uh, verse 6, But rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which I made mention of earlier, only Israel, not these other people. It says, verse 7, 
And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So this is a commandment. Verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. All right. So you're not supposed to make merchandise of the Lord. All right. And this other scripture that go into that topic, you know, uh, going into the wine and whatnot. And uh, whosoever is hungry, let them come and eat. And you buy this truth with your time that you give unto the Lord. Not talking about, oh, my bus is coming. So you only stuck around for two minutes. Hey, you marking yourself, man, if you ain't taking this thing seriously. Here it is. World War Three is at hand. Hell, I just made mention of the fact that this is still the year of the push. And it's still death, destruction, and diligence. Hey, it was just a car crash that went on today. And 13 people killed. So they say. Let me just type that in. You know. Two hours ago, Spanish police stopped second attack after 13 killed in Barcelona. If I'm not mistaken, that's Spain. Yeah. So, regardless of which, man, it's judgment all around us. And it was a significant amount that were injured. But you get the point. This is still the year of death, destruction, and diligence. And the year of the push, man. And if you're not right dividing the word of truth and correlating these signs and times with the scriptures, you're not doing the will of the Heavenly Father. And that's the simpleness of it all, once again. So last but not least, I want to close out with this here. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. It says, Study to shew thyself approved unto Yahweh. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And that's what it all boils down to. You rightly dividing the word of truth, enduring until the end, having faith that Yahweh Shem Shah is going to save you and redeem you out of any and every temptation and situation. All right. And doing the works, man. Doing the work of an evangelist, as the scriptures say. So. Hopefully this video was edifying to whomever may be tuning in with that. I'm going to say Shalom. All right. And as always, hold fast that which is good. There's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. Mawath Labaval.